Well, Cola, he's calm, he's trusting, strong, fun. He's a bit of a mad dog, uh, but in a good way. There are lots of words to describe Cola the rescue dog, but top of that list has got to be lucky, because this fortunate four-year-old has cheated death twice. We first met Cola in, uh, in Cyprus. Uh, we were on holiday and we've always wanted to rescue a dog. We found the, uh, the rescue centre as soon as we walked in and, and seen Cola. There was just an instant connection with me and then we, I was told that um, he's not normally friendly with men. And as soon as he came up to me, he was, he was licking me, he was jumping at me, he, was, he wanted to play. It was pretty much a match made in heaven straight away. Though Cola had clearly been through hell. X-rays showed his body to be riddled with pellet wounds. When the rescue centre found him, he'd been left to die. To see the x-rays of the shot across his body, it was just, the, the initial reaction was, how? How, could they, how can anyone do that to, to a dog, to an animal? It's unthinkable. We couldn't leave him. When we just, straight away, we just wanted to adopt him. Then came the twist in Cola's tail. He was flown back to the UK, where he escaped from a cargo centre near Manchester Airport and was hit by a car on the M56. I've never seen any patient before in my career that had been so badly injured. He'd broken two bones in one of his front legs and they were quite badly shattered. And, you know, we weren't 100% certain that we would be able to get Cola better. Hello, Cola. Hello, Cola. Good boy. How's your leg getting on, eh? Back to say hello to the man who saved his life. It's hard to believe now just how badly hurt Cola was. But his vet says one thing that never broke was Cola's spirit. Cola's one of the most uh, brave patients I've treated. He's just been through one very frightening experience to another. And yet throughout that, he's, uh, he's always shown that he's trusting and just a lovely character. So it was a privilege and a pleasure to treat him. Cola's now back home and enjoying life in Cheshire. Let's hope his next adventure is a little more sedate. Leisha McNally, ITV News.